Hi oh guys, Tim here doing a military review and this time we'll be on talking about um, the three main type of gases in the First World War. Now they were phosgene, chlorine and mustard. Pho um, chlorine and phosgene, well all three of them were the worst but the most memorable one for some people I think was chlorine <laughs> gas. But the most um, uh, what's the word? The most noticeable one was mustard. But so yeah, chlorine. Uh, sorry, phosgene gas. Um, now the thing is, I look at different accounts of different history books. They all say different. They kind of say different, um, different dates of it, because one says um, they first, the British first came under attack by phosgene gas in October 1914, or they come un came under attack in December of 1914. See, but I'm just going to stick with those two dates, October 14 and, and December 1914. So yeah, that's phosgene gas. Um, now phosgene gas is a white, creamy colour. Uh, and it is very, <laughs> very corrosive very corrosive and it can um, very 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 dangerous to your lungs and can make you choke and die and sick like always <laughs> yeah weirdly enough only only 6,000 men died from gas in the first world war that's only yeah now on to um, oh, now on to chlorine gas now chlorine gas as you might know chlorine goes into the swimming pool to sterilize it which has that um, that nice smell, <laughs> yuck. But yeah, chlorine gas was first used in the bat in the Second Battle of Ypres, which the Second Battle of Ypres was April twenty second, nineteen fifteen to May twenty fifth, nineteen fifteen. And in between that, they did use the Germans used chlorine gas. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and also at the Battle of Luce in September 26, 1915, uh, it was actually on the 17th, um, on the 17th to I think the 20th, they used chlorine gas. The British first time used chlorine gas. Against the, at the Germans, yeah. And chlorine gas is very well known for, of course, deaths in the First World War. And um, could burn your eyes because of the chlorine, can burn your eyes, sting your eyes, make you choke, um, cough up blood, and just die, of course. Die. Death is always the um, end. <laughs> yeah, that was the Second Battle of Ypres. Now, um, Mustard gas was used in, I'm going to say, 1917. At, um, they, there's not really any accounts of this, but... I'm going to say 1917, Third Battle of Ypres, or uh, the Argonne Forest. Yeah, probably. And, well, it was in 1917 when uh, Mustard Game came out, and mustard gas is the... Um, most well known of the three because of that greeny, mustardy, yellowy colour. Of course. And um, mustard gas um, actually, uh, what it did, it choked you, st stinged your eyes, uh, killed you, <laughs> of course, and you died, and you're dead. Of course, made you cough up blood, and so not cough up blood. They made you just cough and be and choke and die. Yeah. Now, how to combat the three main gases? Um, which is, this is a little mini sub sub review in a review, uh, which is the different type of gas masks in the First World War. Now, the gas mask. in the First World War were quite 
primitive in a way. Because firstly, in 1915, the first ever gas mask came out, which was basically a little spice in a picture of. This is a, um, is a, just a, you just get a, like a, a, like a, um, oh, what was it called? A tissue or a, like a tissue and just get your, get your mouth and cover it just like that. And it did work. Work, but you had to um, pee on it first, <laughs> then cover it over your mouth. Yeah, which is very rare, of, which is literally impossible to find nowadays in museums and anywhere you go. Impossible. And then they started developing on the actual, now known as a gas mask, the actual mask which uses a a, a like a, a vent ventilator, which put which when you breathe breathed all the bad gas out, let all the good all the oxygen in. Um, that was invented in, you know, in around late 1915, 19, mid 1916 era. Of course, it was just a, a normal gas mask. <laughs> yeah, which technically the gas masks did, did kill <laughs> a lot of men because they choked the men because you couldn't breathe. <laughs> Weirdly enough, you couldn't breathe in a gas mask for so long. So, yeah. And also, when the alarm for a gas, a, um, pardon me, the alarm for a gas, um, if say if a French soldier or British soldier, German soldier saw gas coming over either phosgene, chlorine, or mustard, came over, um, um, they would, well, in 1915, they would have a rattle, <laughs> a rattle, which you're supposed to. picture of um, or either in later era a massive artillery shell they stole them from behind the lines and they would hit it as hard as they can and shout gas 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 yeah then men have to literally stumble and fumble their way out <laughs> and get them gas masks on so yeah that has been my review of the three main type of gases of the first world war so see you guys <laughs>